Good morning and welcome back my queens. This is Queen of Queen She Me. And today I have a tutorial featuring a twist out using perm rods. This is my second attempt in doing this um, tutorial you guys. So I really hope you enjoy it because I did. I love the definition. So as you guys can see, I've already worked on a majority of my hair. So that way you guys won't be forever seeing me do this tutorial. So um, pretty much everything is soft, bouncy and shiny. And that's pretty much what I was going for. So with this remaining section, I'm just going to use a rat tail comb to just simply divide that into another section. And then you'll see me later on divide this section into two smaller sections. So you'll need water, a spray leave-in. I'm using the Cream of Nature Argon Oil from Morocco Collection. I'm using my Marula Oil from Marula Nature. And everything shown in this video will be listed down below for you guys. And as always, I'm using one of my Holy Grails Eden Body Works Natural Curl Defining Cream. And you will also need perm rods, which is pretty much the start of this show. So make sure you have a bunch of these on hand, okay? So let's get right into this tutorial. So you're just gonna spray that one section lightly with water. You don't want your hair damp, really. You're just really just trying to make sure you have some kind of moisture. So that way the products that you add will actually be absorbed into the hair. So I'm just gonna take my time and massage that in and just finger detangle for the most part. That's what you guys will see me do mainly throughout this video. Now we're gonna use our spray leave-in. Again, this is from Cream of Nature and this is from their Argon Oil Morocco collection. And I love this stuff, you guys. It smells bomb. And we're gonna work that in as well. And then we're gonna take some of your oil. Pretty much you don't have to use marula oil, but whatever oil you prefer. Pretty much this is the lock method that I'm doing you guys. This is pretty much a three to four day old hairstyle. So I'm just pretty much refreshing my curls. And then we're just gonna take about a dime size amount of the actual curl defining cream from Eden Body Works. So once you've done all that, you wanna make sure that you separate this one section into two even sections and then begin twisting your actual two strand twist. Now you really want to make sure that you're smoothing the hair while you're actually twisting down. And also you want to leave about between two to three inches. And I think that is about one and a half to two inches. So I actually should have left out a little bit more. So do as I say and not as I do for this particular video, okay? So make sure you smooth some kind of actual curl defining cream, or you can actually use a mousse to pretty much smooth down the ends of your hair. I'm just gonna take the same rat tail comb and I'm just gonna make sure that's further detangled and then smooth the remaining product into my actual hair. You wanna take a perm rod. You can take whichever one you like. They come in all different colors and sizes but primarily you want to make sure that you smooth the ends of your remaining twists down and around the actual perm rod. So just take your time in doing this. It took me a couple of tries. I hadn't used perm rods in over a year. So that was back when I was transitioning. So just take your time and just make sure you smooth the ends of your hair down. And you kind of want to wrap the actual twist around the perm rod as well to make sure that definition is carried out throughout the rest of the actual twist and then just secure it in place. So we're gonna repeat the same step on the remaining portions of my hair. So we're just gonna separate this section into two. And you simply just wanna make sure it's kind of detangled, so mist it lightly with water. And then you just wanna make sure you work that in really well, you guys, and make your hair more um, absorb, it will help it to actually absorb the product better. And then you see me finger detangling here. I'm gonna go in with my spray leave-in again. You wanna make fo focus mainly on the ends, you guys. So um, as you guys know, the ends of your hair is the oldest parts of your hair. So make sure you take care of those. And then we're gonna use some more oil again. And you can use whichever oil you like. And you just want to smooth that into the hair. And as you guys can see, my curls are actually starting to um, actually shrink, um, which lets me know that it actually is absorbing the product. So just make sure, again, you separate that small section into two equal small sections. And then just begin two-strand twisting about 
three fourths of the way down. Again, you want to leave about an inch and a half to two inches of hair at the end of your twist to actually twist around the perm rod. So as you can see, I have two separate strands and you just wanna make sure that you bring those two together. Apply either a cream or an actual mousse to actually smooth the ends down. You just wanna make sure you work all that in. You don't want to sit on top of the hair. And then take your rat tail comb and then further detangle and then just make sure you smooth the remaining product into the hair. And then take your perm rod and then just take your time and just get the ends of it wrapped around. Some people start up at the top of where the remaining hair is left um, before they actually start rolling the ends. Me, I try to start at the ends and then work my way up. So whichever works best for you, do that method, but primarily just make sure that the ends is smoothed down onto the actual perm rod. And then you wanna make sure you kind of twist the actual twist around it and then secure it in place. And there you have it. So that's what it looks like. Um, I actually did go back and redo this twist in particular because it was giving me a hard time. So that is pretty much it, you guys, for this simple tutorial. So what you want to do is just make sure that you oil your scalp. If you haven't done so already, me, I didn't, I should have. But I'm just going to secure all of these with my silk scarf and go to bed and see you guys the next morning. So it's the next day and you want to take down the perm rods in the opposite direction to try to not disturb the curl pattern. And my hair was primarily dry for the most part, but once you see me get towards the front of my head, um, you guys, that's my 4A type and it never dries properly. I always struggle with that section. I don't know why, but this is what the actual curls look like after I take off the perm rods and they look so cute. So I'm going to use some more of my Marula oil from Marula Nature. And I will leave a link down below you guys because I love this freaking oil. I came across it in Sally's and we're just going to massage that into the hands to kind of get it to warm up. And then you just want to take your time and just pretty much unravel the twist. You don't really want to force it where it doesn't want to. And then you just pretty much separate where it naturally wants to. Um... What I did learn from this time, the second time around, is that for one, um, make sure you use water. The first time I didn't use water. Secondly, you want to make sure that you actually smooth the hair down on the ends of the perm rod. You really wanna make sure you smooth your hair because if not, it won't give you that definition that you are looking for. And then three, definitely make sure that you leave about two inches of hair um, at the ends of your two strand twist to really give you that definition that you're looking for. Some of my ends really didn't give me the definition I wanted. I kind of got a weird spiral look versus a curl look. But for the most part, I really did like the way that it turned out overall. So I'm just gonna continue repeating this on the rest of my head, you guys, and I'm just gonna let the music play. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you at the end. This is where my hair did not fully dry and you guys this is just my type 4 hair in the front but I think I kind of went overboard I think with the either the curling cream or the water either way my hair was still kind of damp but it still gave me the wave look so I was pretty much satisfied but that is the curl definition and yeah I'm just going to finish separating and then you guys already know I will fluff to the gods. And here is what it looks like after taking down all of the perm rods and the actual twist. My hair is big, it's fluffy, and it's bouncy, and it has a nice shine to it that I'm always looking for. And I just love the way that it looked this time, you guys. But again, do as I say and not as I do. So again, just make sure that, like I explained earlier, to just be careful of how much product you're actually adding to your hair. So I'm just gonna take some Jamaican black castor oil and smooth this onto my edges. As you guys know, I've still taken my hair affinity pills to help with my thinning edges. And it has been helping some, they're actually growing. So we're just gonna take my Afro pick and I'm going to fluff to the gods. This is like my favorite part besides actually 
um, setting and styling my hair, you guys, for the next day is actually fluffing. It's like you can never have enough volume but i have to be careful because with living in florida the humidity will definitely mess up your hairstyle so that is pretty much it for this video my king and queens i hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial um you know just tweak it to your own preference and pretty much that is it for this video you guys thank you so much for watching my king and queens and i will definitely see you guys in my next upload and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next upload be blessed